All right, here with Alex Shore. You were seventh today yeah. at the Pre National yeah. Invitational. Huge race for you. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good actually. Like the course, the course is like very similar to the kind of like um, grass that we train at at home on, in Golden Gate Park. Um, and I was just like, I put in like some really big training the last like couple of months, and I'm so glad it was like it's paid off. Griek like was such a downer and it was just so like it was just embarrassing it was like terribly embarrassing and so like to come out here and like show like basically like give give like give dues to my training and like it's I don't know it's just a massive relief to be honest it's a massive massive relief um, it's really nice and it's like hopefully fingers crossed hopefully like this kind of vibe will continue until nationals um, because it was it was a really good course really well organized um, really good underfoot Hopefully, hopefully in like a month and a half's time, the rain will like, like show a red card and will disappear. Um, and it will be like the conditions will be exactly the same because I had so, so much fun, I'm not gonna lie. It was incredible, it was really good. And the team, like we've had, we had like, a, like quite a lot of new guys come in last year. Um, and we thought we were gonna, be, we thought we were gonna be really strong and then we bombed so incredibly hard. Um, and so it was really, like, this is the first time where collectively as a team, we've had like, a, like a, an above average race. Um, which is so good because like, there was a lot of hype, like, obviously I'm English um, and like the four, there were four English guys who came over last year and there was a lot of hype around that and, and, um, and we, ran, we ran miserably um, last year whereas like this year uh, it's all kind of like come together, the experience, um, the NCAA system is so different to um, the kind of system we have in England, like it's so much more competitive. Like in England, you could be first and then like a minute behind, you could have 10th place. Whereas here, if you're a minute behind, you're like, you're out in the sticks. Like the finish, the, the, the winner has already had a cup of tea by the time the, the, the guy one minute behind has like come in. Um, and so it's like, I feel like there's a lot of like getting used to like running in the NCAA system. Um, and hopefully, hopefully this is the turnaround for USF. This is, we're gonna become national champions after this. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you had it here first. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, your team it has a really strong like, international presence, mm. I mean, men and women. Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of us. Like, yeah, the, the team meetings are like, there's like Polish, French flying from all corners. Like, we, we, most of us just end up like sitting there, like the foreign languages just flying straight over our head. Um, it's quite good though, like the diversity and like I'm all for meeting people from like different parts of the world and stuff because like someone living in Poland is living a completely different life to like what I'm living in London and like what um, I don't know, someone living in Florida and it's, 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 it gives a really good vibe, like the diversity in the team is so, it's so good. Um, I feel like it took a little while for us all to like mesh together just because there was just so much difference. Uh, especially in the beginning there was, a, there was a fairly heavy language barrier that a lot of, a lot of people struggled to overcome. But like now it's, like, we're, it's, like, it's just like one big like, happy like, global international family. Um, so it's, yeah, it's really, it's really nice. It's really good. As you say, you guys must bring a lot of different uh, running cultures to the mm. table and a lot of different training experiences. Oh uh, yeah, that's a, that's a massive like that's a massive thing that um, that kind of it surprised me actually. Like you kind of think that long distance running, like to run well, you just run more. Like if you're running. 25 minutes flat for 8k and you're doing 80, 80 miles a week to run 24 flat you just do 90 and nothing else but there's like I mean there's there's some girls on the girls side who do like less than 20 miles a week because they're a little bit fragile um, and they just like cycle and aqua jog like there's no manana um, and and like and that works for them they end up like running really well and then there's like some guys who are doing like I don't know 320 miles a week um, and that works for them and they don't get injured and it's just like that kind of like again that kind of diversity is really really interesting for a sport that seems so simple on the outside but is actually extremely complex on the inside so yeah it's, it's really good it's really nice and now that you guys have finally you know had that, uh, that kind of breakthrough race here what yeah. do you think the team is capable of for the rest of the season oh i don't know i'm not entirely sure like <laughs> i feel like we're very like we're very careful not to like ride. In fact, we feel like we're riding the wave at the minute. Like, I mean, this is only one race, so we don't want to get too too far ahead of ourselves. But we're kind of like, like if we were surfing, we've, we're on our knees now. Like, we're about to crest the wave, and we really don't want to like, like, like we don't want the surfboard to like go from under our feet, because then we'll end up drowning. Um, so I feel like we're just going to go go back to San Francisco. Just keep like keep putting in the hard work. Keep trusting 
Um, and the really good thing is that this race has like validated what we're doing. Because like after a while, if you keep having like subpar races, um, you end up kind of questioning whether you're doing the right thing. And at least now we can say that the training we're doing is like can make allow us to perform like competitively at the highest level. Um, which is, I, I feel like that, that kind of contentment is the best feeling you can get from good races. So we're just going to go back, keep working on our, keep working on the endurance, keep working on trying like get a bit of speed going, um, and hopefully we'll be like this time in a month's time, we'll be standing tall on that surfboard, striding towards the beach, ready to like, I don't know, get a few claps in the crowd. That's what we want, a few claps. <laughs> That's probably the best analogy I've heard all day. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, yeah. I'm here to entertain. <laughs> well, congratulations. Yeah. And, thanks a lot. Uh, we'll see you later on in the season. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, have a nice day.